Hi guys, it's Alex. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. And today's video is a review of the new Patrick Ta Major Volume Plumping Glosses. I have all five shades and I'm so excited to do this review. I finally am doing another review. I was hoping to do them a little bit more frequently, but that's all, that's all good. But before we get started, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. I'm on a cruelty-free journey. My goal is to have everything cruelty-free when it comes to makeup, skincare, hair care, everything in between. I do tons of different projects on this channel. I also do Shop My Stash and I sprinkle other videos in there as well. So if that's not like something you're interested in, I would love for you to stick around, like I said. So now let's just hop into the video. So this is my second time filming this. I tried to film this yesterday, but I just didn't like how it turned out and I felt like I was just missing a whole bunch of things and I was just kind of all over the place. So I already know how these feel and stuff on the lips, but I will go through that all again and explain the shades and everything on, you know, all that. So I just want to let you guys know this is not my first impression, unfortunately. Um, but Yes. So anyways, so the major volume plumping glosses, there's five shades here. There is a clear, like a milky pink, a nude, a darker pink, and a red. So I think it's a good uh, color range to start with. I guess you could say they're $24 each. And the highlights here, I'm on Patrick Ta's website, it says it's a liquid formula. Makes sense. Minimal fragrance. Um, I would say the fragrances could be a little strong for some people. I'm pretty sensitive to fragrance, but I actually don't mind the smell of these. If you like the smell of like a cinnamon kind of thing, that's what it smells like. So if you like the smell of cinnamon, you might really like this, but if you don't, it might not be something you'd want to check out. It is free of sulfates, sheer coverage, and that's why I have kind of light makeup on today. Actually, I have heavier makeup on today than I did when I tried to film it yesterday, but um, I think it's still would kind of look cohesive with the look. Hydrating, well, that makes sense, without parabens, glass-like finish, cruelty-free, and vegan. And about the product, it says a balmy hydrating gloss that stimulates blood flow and invigorates the lips and adds a hint of juicy color. A combination of instant and long-term plumping actives give the appearance of fuller, powdier, more voluminous lips with each application. And the highlighted ingredients, a warming blend featuring vitamin E, nicotinate, I'm hoping I said that right, and natural extracts, Capsicum, which is pepper, ginger, cinnamon, and peppermint stimulate the blood flow to the lips for an instant plumping effect. Vitamin E, vitamin e avocado, jojoba oil, enhance shine and add moisture. Active blend helps to visibly restore volume in lips, smooth the appearance of wrinkles, and improve elasticity. It sounds like something that so many people would be interested in. So I'm also going to do uh, try each shade on so you can kind of see how they look. I have pretty fair skin with neutral undertones, so hopefully that gives you a little bit of a better idea, especially if you're similar to my skin tone. And yeah, so the first shade I'm going to start with is the clear shade. Let me put these down because I'm just holding them right now. So the first shade here is called Looks Natural. It's just a really pretty clear shade. We can also see, you know, the what it does to my lips. So I'll keep um, this shade on probably just the longest and just kind of, you guys can kind of see how it works and everything. So this is the gloss here. You can tell it's like a thicker kind of gloss. And you do, yeah, you can tell I didn't wear it. This isn't the first time because I had a lip product on the other day. But um, you can tell that it's a little bit thicker. So I'm going to apply it so you guys can kind of see how it looks. It looks super nice. Like I said, this is the clear shade. So you're not going to see any hint of color or anything. And at first you do not feel any of that cooling sensation. It's not painful. Like I'm starting to feel a little bit now. Like... Um, was it Soap and Glory had a lip plumper that was, to me, very tingly and uncomfortable. I've never tried the Too Faced ones, but I heard those are kind of painful. This kind of reminds me of like the Elf or the Milani kind of plumping ones, but those ones give a little bit more of a tingle. This feels like, it has like a tingle, but it's not as intense and it gets like a little cooling on the lips after like a minute or two of it being on the lips. But like my lips look nice. One thing I do notice is that Oh, it's not doing it now. So that's cool. But some of the shades I noticed kind of get a little bit stringy when you kind of go do the kind of thing. This one doesn't really do that. But when we get to the other shades, I will explain and show you guys which ones get a little bit like that. But um, they get kind of stringy, like more towards the inner corners of the mouth and sometimes over in the center of the mouth. But yeah, so I've had it on for what? About a minute or so. Yeah, you can see a little bit of a stringiness. So when I talk and you see that, that's what I'm kind of talking about. The only thing I did see 
um it was on tiktok it was someone i followed and she reviewed i forgot what shade it was but hers was like super stringy and kind of gloopy and that made me nervous because i still didn't get my uh my my products yet and i saw that and i was like oh my gosh i'm hoping it's not bad because it has five stars basically on the patrick charles website it has five stars on sephora it has you know well over four stars so i was like well no one's talked about that because i read a couple of the reviews to see if i really want to do a review on all these and yeah so and then when you smell whoop, and then the smell yeah i wouldn't say it's as strong as some other lip products but it definitely, you can smell like that cinnamon and a few other the ingredients. So like, if you don't like cinnamon, I really would recommend steering away from these. Like my mom doesn't like the smell of cinnamon, so she would not like these at all. Um, but yeah, so this is super hydrating. My lips feel really nourished and moisturized. But this is how it looks after like a couple minutes. So, I mean, what it claims here is claims to restore volume in lips, smooth the appearance of wrinkles, and improve elasticity. So, it's not like it's going to make you look like you have, like, lip filler. You know what I mean? It just gives a little bit more of, like, a juiciness to the lips. And I really like that because especially since my lips have been super, super dry recently. And what's also nice is that even though my lips have been dry, this doesn't irritate the lips because of, like, the vitamin E and the avocado and jojoba in it. So, it doesn't irritate my lips when it when I take it off or when I reapply it doesn't irritate my lips at all but it's just super nice and nourishing yeah I think there's like a slight difference like a little bit more of like a juiciness to the lips nothing crazy intense which I don't mind I don't mind how my lips look so I don't mind it being just like a slight like a slight effect which is kind of what it seems like it's supposed to do so yeah, this is the clear shade. So we have four other shades to try. So I'm going to try on the next shade now. Okay, I think I got all that off. So the next shade here is like this really pretty, like kind of milky pink. And this is the shade Pouty. So let's try this one. Um, well, I'll show you guys this one. So it's just, you guys like the slightest, like, color. I mean, my lips will be a little bit darker now because of the effect of the gloss and, you know, wiping off other colors but yeah it's just it's so nice and another thing I noticed that since I did film it yesterday and I wore you know these shades for the majority of my day yesterday one thing I noticed that they last a pretty long time and you feel that sensation for quite a while even when it kind of starts to go away a little bit like if you're drinking something or eating you still feel a little bit of that tingle and even when I took off the clear shade and put on the next shade this one I still felt that tingle so I still feel, I'm obviously I'm feeling the same amount of tingle because, I mean, I just literally wiped one off and put one on, but you still feel that tingle. I don't know. The tingle doesn't feel nice. It actually feels kind of good. Like, it's like cooling. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, I don't really use, ever have used lip plumpers. Like, I have like the Milani and Elf, but they don't really do anything. This one, I actually like noticed, like, it makes my lips look and feel juicier, nourished moisturized like the milani ones i just really have for the color and like i have an elf one that i use more for just like a topper so i don't really use them for the purpose that i think they were kind of supposed to be marketed for but these i don't know i really like them and then let's see the glue yeah you see that yeah it does that kind of stringiness and i took all of the other shade off so it's not like i i'm adding or anything um but I did also notice that when we get to the uh, colors that are a little bit darker, they tend to be thicker. But I can show you guys that in just a sec. But yeah, so this is the shade Pouty. You can tell it just gives the slightest, slightest coverage, like the slightest milky pink to the lips. And I really, really like it. So now we're going to go on to the next shade. All right, next we have like a warm nude shade. And this is the shade Superficial. And I feel like this is the one I've heard people talk the most about about like when I've seen like the reviews on Sephora so let's see we open it up and what I remember yeah this one's pretty thick I feel like that one is a little bit thicker than the other two I don't know if it's because you can see the color a little bit more but let's just apply it like I feel like even when I put this on the shade feels like slightly thicker but that could just be my imagination but yeah this is the shade superficial I really enjoy this shade. I believe this is the one that glooped a good amount after. It takes like a minute or so, but let's let's just see here. Yeah, you can see that. But what I do when 
um, lip glosses are thicker and they naturally tend to do that is I just use my finger and wipe a little bit or I just get less on the applicator and I build up if I need to. I prefer thicker glosses personally. I know a lot of people like thinner formula, but my lips just get so tight and dry where I just like having something a little bit thicker. Just, it feels like it's doing something, you know? I don't mind a thinner gloss, like when it's warmer out, like in the summer or on like just warm days, but overall I do prefer thicker glosses. So that doesn't bug me too much. So I can easily just kind of like, my hands are clean by the way. And then just kind of do that. And I don't get all of it. I mean, it's not perfect. It's not like anything, but I always do that or I just do a little bit less on the applicator, which is no big deal. But this is the shade Superficial. You can tell this one, maybe. I mean, I can see like a slight difference. They are very sheer coverage, like it says on the website. So it's nothing like you're gonna see anything crazy. Like when I try on the red shade, you can kind of tell it's not gonna be super, super intense or anything like that. But yeah, this is the shade Superficial. And now we're gonna go on to the other shade. Alrighty, the fourth shade here we have is a really gorgeous pink shade. It's called Two CCs. So we'll just try it on. I'll show you guys kind of how it looks when it comes out. You can tell it's a little bit thicker. I feel like this one just gets maybe a little bit more product. Let's see. You can definitely tell this one is a little bit pinkier, like right when I put it on the lips. It's honestly hard for me to determine which shade's my favorite because they all look really good and they look good with so many different looks. But yeah, so you see how it doesn't do that, that strain us right away it's like after I talk for a few seconds or a minute or whatever and then it kind of starts like it kind of builds up to those sides of my mouth or something I don't know but this is the shade 2cc's and I really like this shade I made sure my makeup was something where all these shades will look good and you can actually see the color the sheer color payoff from them so I'm hoping I did that right but yeah so this is shade 2cc's my lips look a little bit more fuller you can tell maybe a little bit and I'm wiping super carefully. I'm not wiping hard to cause them to do anything. I'm wiping very gently. I'm even patting it, the product off. So this is kind of how it looks even when I just keep one shade on. Just a slight little plump effect just to make it look a little more juicy. That's just kind of the word I can think of here, but I'm really enjoying this. So next is the last shade and it's the red shade. So we will try that on real quick. Dish off. Okay, and the next shade, or the last shade right here is called Full Syringe. And you can tell it's not a super full coverage gloss. You can definitely kind of see through it a little bit, but it's a really pretty red. So let's try this on. And you can tell that, yeah, you get a lot of product because in, I should have said this in the beginning, in the actual doe foot applicator, there's a little divot to hold a little bit more product in. So if you don't like that, just wipe off the sides. It's not too bad at all though. You can definitely see a little bit more of that redness. I mean, obviously it's red. And there we go. It's just super pretty. I actually, I got a little bit in my mouth. Ew. But you can tell it just gave like that slight red tint, like super, super sheer. I mean, obviously, like it says, I actually really like this red because it's not like intense or anything. It's just very sheer but yeah so this is the shade wait why can't I remember it the shade full syringe right I believe this was Patrick's favorite shade I watched a video of him applying it to him and the models and I believe this he said this was his favorite one and I really like it I honestly don't think I can pick a favorite um I think it just kind of depends what I feel like going for but I feel like overall since these are such sheer coverage they will go with so many different looks you know like I don't know. I I think they I think they're very universal. So I really really like that about this. And one thing I want I'm hoping they do in the future, not like want. They don't like but one thing I think would be really cool is if they expanded this range of colors and had like an orange or something. 
because they have like an orangey toned blush and I think if they did like an orangey tone of this plumping gloss like you know kind of like how like with the red it's super sheer like you know it might look like an intense orange like bright orange but I feel like that would look really cool or even like some mauvies I mean these are all kind of warm tone Matt Patrick Ta is usually a warmer toned products that I see but it'll be cool to see a little bit more of like a maybe like a cooler tone like a mauve or like berries tones and stuff like that I feel like that would look really really pretty as well in this kind of formula I don't know obviously these just came out so they uh, they could totally have some more shades out you know in the future but I don't know so overall I highly recommend these the only reason why I wouldn't recommend them is if that stringiness really bugs you and you don't really like having the hassle of kind of cleaning that up or if you really just don't like the smell of like cinnamon or if you don't like thicker glosses but if those don't really bug you I highly recommend checking them out and everything like that now do you need all these shades no you can tell that they're very subtle difference on my lips like it's nothing insane at all but I really want to get all these and try them out for you guys so you can kind of see you know if it seems like something you'd be interested in at all and you can even tell when I'm talking the gloopiness stringiness isn't too terribly bad on this red shade anyway um but like I said you can easily clean that up or just have less on the applicator so yeah I don't know I can see myself using all these shades all the time like I well I wore them yesterday and I only had to apply them a couple times because of like eating and like drinking stuff all day but these I feel like they have pretty good staying powder powder <laughs> power because they are a thicker kind of formula but I really enjoy these I highly recommend I definitely see why they have such high ratings on Sephora and Patrick Toss website so I definitely re recommend checking them out if you are interested in them but is this like an absolute necessity in your makeup collection no it's I don't think it is but I think it's just a fun product um they are $24 like I said in the beginning but I can even swatch these on my hand real quick okay so before we end the video these are just the swatches so here's the clear one this is pouty like that clear milky pink and then there's superficial two cc's and full syringe so you can tell they're super super sheer so I feel like you can't really go wrong with picking a wrong color you know obviously if you like reds go for the red you know but I feel like honestly like when it comes to the colored ones like not necessarily the clear one but like these three especially like I don't think you can go wrong with picking a wrong shade because they're just super super sheer that's my personal opinion though but they are super pretty you could tell they're definitely more warmer tone even the pout like pouty looks basically clear with the slightest pink tint so I feel like if you're torn say like between these two it doesn't really matter and then if you're kind of torn between these three, I feel like you just can't go wrong. So yeah, that is it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope I covered all the bases. If you guys have any questions, please let the, leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer them. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It means so much to me and I hope to see you guys in my next video.